welcome back. This is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Do not forget to follow me on all social media platforms. Today, we're talking about comprehensive sex education. And on to our next question. Do you think this curriculum is actually going to help prevent early pregnancies? Engage with us in the comment section at Y254, hashtag Unfinished. Yeah, of course, having supported that uh, sexual education, it is very important. Oh, definitely, it will lead to stopping some of these early pregnancies. Because one person, once somebody has the knowledge, then implementing it will be a bit easy. Unlike when they are ignorant and they lack that particular knowledge. Yes, it will help stopping early pregnancy, abortion, frustration, stress, giving birth before plan. It will help reduce early pregnancies because they will have the knowledge of know-how about sex education. You see, so it akua up to them now to take. With a patanga like now, na juwa sa always save what water. You see, kuna wale wanyana that you sex education very seriously. Now understand about the contraceptives. Now understand about the challenges. Everything now atai fwata. But kuna wengine ne baro atai wata fwata sex education. But the same same time, awata fwati di awata awata semaje awata pe amana ni yoki tu yu about sex education. When they introduce the curriculum, the more of the youths. I think they will get a, a better understanding of of how it goes. So maybe I think maybe if all goes r right on the wishes of our horses, then yeah, early pregnancies will reduce. Probably it will because once there is the information out there, it will help a few. Or probably we can't help everybody, but it will help some make the right decisions. And if you come across a situation where you have to, to, to make a decision, you remember what you are taught in school. It can help because it educates the people and what to do and not to do. Yeah. I think this one will be a major st a stepping stone in reducing the, 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 uh, the issue of early pregnancies. Because, I mean... We are having this issue of early pregnancies because we are not telling our young ones the truth. We are not telling them what is happening, what is supposed to be happening, what used to happen then. I mean, we are shying away from these conversations. Even the Bible says, teach your kid in the early age on my ways, so that when they grow old, they should not go astray. So if they are taught in early ages about sexual education, the dangers that involve uh, the a company of early sex and threesome and stuff like that. When they grow up, they'll be able to remember what they are being taught in school and also what they are being taught at home. Wanaiza guziwa kidogo pande hiyo, kwa sababu nao imetretea sana sana napata kuna hizo wale pregnancy na unapata kama wasichana wanaadhirika sana. Masomo inapotea maisha inaharibika. Sasa hiyo naona wanaiza funzu wa waonyeshwe madhara yake. Ndiyo waweze kujichunga, ili wa focus na masomo, ndiyo waweze kujikimu kimaisha wakiwa watu wakubwa. Lakini sasa, e, serikali nayo lazima iangalie, ndiyo wasifunze kwanza hawa watoto wachini sana. Wafunze watoto kutoka form 1 huko, naona inaweza kuwa better. Uki introduce hii, ianza na chunia secondary, inaweza reduce the area pregnancy. Lakini uki ianza na watoto wadogo, it will be tough for those small kids. But ianza na chunia secondary, we can encounter cases where alia polygonans ya tutasipata inaweza kwa sababu wamefunzwa kuhusu venye wanaweza abstain ku, kupata mimba yes this curriculum is able to reduce early pregnancy because teachers there are there's more uh, mind of teachers to schools so they will enable us to teach students more if sex sex education will be the subject no it won't but you'll create awareness for the kids. Yes. So awareness is better than non awareness. Atakuwa amejua jinsi ya kujikinga. Nyelewa. So after all akiwa amejua kusukinga nini itamsababishia tena we nini apart from pregnancy. 
Personally, I feel like this curriculum is a very good way to prevent early unwanted pregnancies because if people learn about this information from a very young age, they're also able to be taught about contraceptives and their side effects. But then the bad side of it is we have these people who just want to experiment everything for the first time and things may not actually work out in your favor, so you never know. On to our next question. Do you think parents have actually failed in educating our children? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Most parents are afraid to discuss this topic with their kids. <laughs> or if they talk about it, they talk about it at a very shallow level. So you find out, you figure, you find out most, most kids look for this information from the wrong sources or different sources, maybe they may, f they may come across the right source, but most end up in the wrong sources. Come on, I, I could have my own kid. I know there is more of like telling my kid, you know, about sex or what and what, but I think if, if, if it can be included in the curriculum, then it will help, yeah. It will help uh, many, many young generation to understand more. In this current society, some people experiment other things, which if you are told, it can help us avoid certain things. And no, even, even if you are indulging in certain things, you can at least use the right means. Definitely. Parents have no time for the kids. They are in the corporate world, looking for money, not caring about the kids. The kids are left at home for the nuns to take care. When the parents are back home, all of them are on internet, TikToking and tweeting. They are neglecting the, 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 their kids on, on so many things. Yes, of course, I think so, because uh, you see, like for my case, I can speak for myself, because the best story you can give is your own story. For instance, if my parents could tell me the importance, because uh, initially I said I wanted to get married at 30 years old, and that's what was my plan. And you see, uh, today, as I speak, that's my age. And if I can tell you, I have three babies. And you can imagine now the circumstances that I might be having and the story that I might tell is different from if I could have gotten the information early. So if they could have taught me early enough, I would, or maybe given me the, the best security and everything that I need as a girl child after the age of maturity, I would have escaped maybe the bitter stories that I might tell. Yeah, personally, nafikria wazazi wanfediju wana wakona ile I don't know provisional kuna provisional difference between us and parents wana kuwa wana tuongope ama wana kuna heshima sana na sisi wamekuwa far from us so watu uh, tuambi mambo na sex tunapata tuna introduce wa sex na ma, ma friends zetu waza mzazi akikuona anaanza kupiga badala akuongeleshe na akuambie mapema hii kitu ni mbaya 50 50 Kuna wazazi wenye nalewa watoto wao vizuri na kuna wengine wenye wamewaja. So it's de in a depend personally for me, par for vizimelelewa, so like personally for me, parents want to play a big role in about teaching about sex education. So it's a 50-50, kuna wengine na kuna wengine wanalegeza maali kidogo. Yeah, I need to fail. Because, nkama wanaona ibu kutuambia, kutufunza ukifanya hiki kitatokea hiki ukifanya hiki so ni kama wanaona aibu ambao sio vizuri wale, wale watu wanafaa kufunza watoto mambo kama hayo ya sex na nini ni mzazi kwa sababu kama mtoto atakuwa na tabia mbaya either ako primary ama amemaliza shule akienda ashike ugonjwa shida ni kwa mama na baba akienda ashike hiyo eh, apate mimba eh, wao ndio watabeba mzigo na sasa unapata wazazi wengi wanalaumu watoto lakini ninaona wazazi ndio hawachukui majukumu ya kuweza kuelezea watoto wao madhara ya sex waambie unaweza pata ugonjwa unaweza pata mimba alafu sasa maisha yako inaishia hapo sex has been seen as something very sacred growing up not a single parent of mine my dad and mom ever spoke anything sexual in in my public or tell me you don't need to have these or to engage in one two or three but I think growing up and uh, being an exposed youth and a youth leader, 
I've come to learn and to know that it is important the parent to mention to their child about sexual education and tell them, look, my daughter, this and this is bad, this and this is good, this and this you have a certain age to do it. Yeah, for most, out of uh, 44 tribes now in Kenya, I think 40, 39 don't talk about sex up to this point. And it's so hard that you grow up and your mom and dad has never told you, like, you know, we had sex to give birth to you. In the village, they tell kids, a plane came and dropped a child. So you grow up, you don't even understand how a child is brought to the world until when you go to class seven, you are told uh, reproductive system in science. And then you start like, oh, my mom lied to me. So I was given birth in this process. But still again, our parents still shy away in talking about sexual education, which I think at this point it should be very important because these kids will get these things out there. Remember, right now we are looking at two types of parents. We have the, the digital parents. I'm sorry to say this, but I think we have to be open to this. We have the digital parents and the analog parents. The analog parents, remember, they'll, they'll want to introduce the issue on sex to their offspring in a very hidden way. Remember, I, I personally don't remember my parents educating me about sex. The only thing I remember is my grandmother asking me, Kijana yangu, So I wonder, I'm just 20, 23. I wonder, I, I still have to create a base. So in a way, it's, it's yes, like the parents in rural areas, in a way they have failed in educating uh, their children on the issue of sex and the related challenges. I mean, that one, there is a way in which we as young people and the society in general, we have to be open to this. But looking also the other way around, parents in maybe urban setups, they have also uh, played a very critical role in educating their offspring on this issue. So it's, it's all-sided. In a way, those in rural setups, they have failed, but those in urban setups, because of the issue of modernization and such like things, they have done the best. But still, we have to all as a society agree on the issue of uh, sexual education, so as we cover this uh, at all angles, both in the rural and the urban setups. To me, bado, wasazi wanangangana na hii. Lakini sasa government government yenyewe design imeleta CPC wasasi hawaelewi CPC kitu ya kwanza. So is better mzazi at I want na mzazi. Mzazi afunze mtoto wake about it is and then akimachua kidogo yifike kwa walimu. Lakini wasasi for me I can defend wasasi. Hawajanguka. Bado. Yeah, wame to fail kwa sababu unajua kuna wazazi wengine wanaogopa kuongea kuhusu sex. Wanaona that thing is so embarrassing, but in real fact ni akimwambia ndio aweze kuji abstain itakuwa heri kushinda aende kuji experimentia yeye mwenyewe. In Kenyan communities na pia African communities at large, the issue of sex, parents kuongelea sexual education na na watoto na kuanga kitu controversial. It's like a taboo kasa sa mimi ni ngumu my mama or my dad aniambi about sexual things naona inaka ni kama vitu hazifai kuongelewa wana assume tu utajulia mbele naona sasa hiyo hiyo assumption au utajulia mbele inapata ndio unapata kuna hizi risks za unwanted pregnancies STIs kwa za ujajua umi na tu ile utafind out tu baadaye Personally, I would say let us not put all parents in one bracket because we do have parents that are very good at talking about these things with their children and we see it on social media. But we also have parents that are very shy when it comes to talking about this stuff. But the truth is if you don't tell your child, uh, if you don't talk to your child about these things, they're going to hear about it from their peers or someone who has absolutely no idea about what they're saying. Uh, people who grew up being told, oh, mtoto alikuja na ndege, tunenda kwa eduka kununua sistako, when they get the actual concept of how babies are made, they're going to be very curious and wanting to experiment. So I am advising every parent out there to be more open with their children. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. I am your host, SK Gitonga. See you next time.